Welcome back to another episode of Ad Creative AI Talks with me, Anna, and also too fun. Hey. <laughs> Today we are super stoked to announce that version six is finally live. And I think we should actually begin with announcing that Canva, ChatGPT, and Midjourney had a baby that arrived today. And it's a brand new feature in the tool. And I'm just gonna hand it off to you, Tufani. You can tell us all about why this is a game changer. Well, I think this is a game changer for several reasons. Uh, the number one is that whenever you do a marketing campaign that could be an advertising print or whatever else reason is just the, the first thing you need is an asset. Asset could be a photo shoot or some kind of drawing, some kind of vectoral file, whatever that is. But you need to start from an asset. And usually that asset creation is one of the biggest bottlenecks. And basically what we do is uh, commercial say stock image AI that we have on the platform is that we generate stock images, but as, as it's in the name, it's commercially safe, which means when you generate those visuals, you can actually go ahead and use it in advertising, marketing, or whatever other usage that you have that's going to be commercial. And also it cuts like that button like great because like otherwise you need to plan photo shoots, you need to plan drawings or whatever that asset is. And it just using with the stock image in just a matter of seconds, you can actually go ahead and generate that asset yeah. and directly go to the marketing campaign creation or, or design. And that basically for some companies can even mean millions of dollars just to get that asset. Uh, so it definitely cuts that whole budget and time. And also it kind of like makes everything is like super fast. And I think especially for companies like agencies and enterprises, that's going to be like decreasing a, a one of the biggest probably bottlenecks that exists in this marketing campaign arrangement things. Yeah. So it's, it's a great one. Um, I totally agree. And I also think we should just clarify that if you are using Ad Creative AI today, it's actually available in the is, app it right is now. Available. That's it's true. live. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Would you say that with this tool that people or like our users can get even more creative with their visuals and everything that they're creating and like, how is this like improving the user experience within the app? I mean, so far, if you ever use that creative AI, the way that we worked is that you had to have your asset and that could be your product photo or that could be some kind of stock image that you have, which is super cool. And it helped thousands or millions of advertisers at this point to create campaigns that perform as well. But now with this feature at creative AI literally gives you this almost like the limits are your imagination, whatever you can think of, you can generate that asset and then turn it into ready to use ad creatives. Um, but yeah, so I think this feature really completes and kind of like gathers every other feature perfectly that whatever you want to do, that could be a video, that could be, I don't know, some ad creatives or Pinterest, social media posts, whatever it is, you can literally go generate a stock image, save to library, go to the feature and directly generate those assets in a matter of seconds. And I think, yeah, this, this, this is going to be a, a huge deal. That's why we're super excited. We are. And I also want to kind of highlight that I think Midjourney blew up a lot. And I think most people yeah. who knows anything about like AI or they probably heard people throwing around like Midjourney left and right or any other like AI tool that can generate images, etc. cetera. Yeah. What I think is cool with our version that we built is the ease of use that you yeah. can create really high quality content with very little knowledge in the end of the exactly, day. Exactly. It's built for everyone, really. Yeah. It's a very good point. I think where we are really making the biggest difference is what you said. The number one is the ease of use. Yeah. Because if you want to use Midjourney, you still need to go to Discord and use a lot of like I mean, fancy. it's a great tool. We don't want to... It, it, yeah. It's a great yeah. tool. But I mean, if you're a company and you just want to focus on what exactly. you're doing because your business needs you, we don't want to learn all that Discord and all those stuff. And that's ease of use is super important. But the second thing that we have no idea, nobody will ever know probably like is what type of data sets the mid journey is trained with yes. or any other image generation model. What, what basically I'm trying to say is that if you generate something with mid journey and next week, actually an artist can come in and sue you saying that, Hey, actually that looks super like my content. And I believe that that model is trained with my visual that the copyright belongs to me. And then that can actually turn into a couple million dollar, uh, like, you know, all that lawyers, etc. So basically what we're doing is on top of the ease of use is that what we do is commercially safe because we use a model that is trained with royalty free images. And on top of that, we have our own now this AI analysis where we go through an image to make sure that if this image can be advertised or if there is any risk or not when you advertise on Facebook or any other platform. Yes. So there's this double security thing that no other platform has on the market. So that's why I think at Creative AI, 
commercial safe stock image AI is really becoming different because ease of use and on top of it, that commercial safe part is super important, especially if you're advertising. Oh, 100%. For yeah. any business, they want to stay within 100%. the lines exactly. and make sure exactly. that they don't get sued. Yeah. <laughs> it makes that, life easier, Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so that is one thing we're super stoked about. And the next thing we just launched is uh, the option for you to actually upload your own custom fonts and additional colors. Yes. Yes. We, we start talking a lot about enterprise, so it's kind of made it more obvious that... We had this great success in the SMB market. We worked with, as I mentioned, millions of SMBs in 192 countries. And then what happened is that a lot of enterprise companies, and I'm talking about literally Fortune 500 and so on, these companies started to write us saying that, hey, we already start using your platform. We signed up or our team tried, or in some cases we've seen that a lot of those enterprise companies' employees are individually paying with the company Create Cards so at Creative AI. So basically what happened is that the more enterprise companies realized what ad creative AI can do or can produce, the more they start writing us, asking for demos and asking for some custom development. So what we've seen is that with enterprise companies, they needed a bit more option to create a bit more detailed brands because a, a regular brand, a small business have maximum two to three colors as a brand color, but yeah. enterprise companies, that number can go to up to 10, 12, et cetera. And then what else we've seen is that a lot of enterprise companies actually have their own custom fonts that is not even publicly available. So for example, Samsung is a great example. They have their own font that the name of the font is Samsung, for example. Oh, I didn't and, know that. and you cannot find it anywhere else. No, so they have not. to provide you the file. And in such cases, so what we've built is that we built the self-service um, custom font upload section where you can upload your font. So every time you generate a ready to use ad asset, the fonts are your custom font in a perfect way. And now that we also, increase this number of colors and other branding details, now enterprise companies can really get super on-brand visuals that they don't necessarily need to edit. But if they want to, that's one of the things that at Creative AI does it super well, is that our Creative Studio, a Canva-like editing platform where whatever you generate, since we generate in this specific format, you can actually drag and drop anything. Yeah. Not like any other platform when you have something and if you want to make an edit, it's too late because AI generated. But in our case, we generate layers and then gather the all layers to give you an image. Anything can actually be drag and dropped and edited, etc. So it kind of gives this enterprise companies a chance to make ready to use, but also perfectly on brand images. Um, and I think that feature is gonna be great for enterprises and kind of built it for them. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a super exciting improvement on the branding one. I agree. And it's of course, super important to always stay on brand when you advertise. So it, it, makes, it makes it a lot smoother. 100%, yeah. Yes. Another product we have or feature in the app, one that is very, I would say like. Personally, I think it's one of my favorites and it's the product photo shoot. Yes. Yes. And we did some updates on that one we, as well. We did some updates. Yeah. It's a very unique AI model. The way that it works is that it is trained with a lot of square photo shoots because like imagine you're buying something from a Shopify website yep. or you're, or even if today you give a product and send it to a, a, a photo shoot agency or whoever that person is. And if you ask for a photo shoot, they're going to, provide you square images because that's how the industry works. They just shoot square images when it comes to photo shoots. So what happened is that this AI model on the market has been trained with square images, which means it can give you square outputs that are super good. But the moment that you ask for a story size or a Pinterest size or a landscape size or anything other than square, what happens is that it's not trained to create composition. So what happens is that when you ask for a story, for example, and let's say that your perfume has some kind of citron taste, right? The citron is not gonna be perfectly fitted in the composition. It's gonna be kind of half cut. So it's not gonna look natural. So we've been working on this model quite a bit of time and at the end it's ready. So basically what it does is that it understands your size. Let's say it's a, it's a story size. Mm -hmm. It puts your product and anything else in a perfect composition that when you see a story image, you don't feel like it's cropped. You really feel like everything has been actually planned from the first moment that it's going to be a story size. So that's that's a change that we've done. We added pretty much all the social media sizes. So you can do story size, you can do uh, portrait size, you can do landscape, and you can even do pin size, which is great for Pinterest yeah. if you're doing that. And what it does is that as soon as you get the output, you feel like like it's been planned for Pinterest. It just doesn't feel like it's been cropped or it's been resized or any other way. And that's the improvement that we've done on this at Creative AI v6 version. 
uh, that's a super exciting uh, improvement because especially if you're an e-commerce company and if you're advertising, those photo shoots perform the best, convert the best, get the most engagement. Yeah. And you want to make sure that every content you put out there just looks like very premium. Yeah. Uh, and at Create AI version 6 does that uh, quite well. I think also maybe we should just cover like who is this like um, feature for? Like what kind of companies will benefit the most from this? Yes. Anyone watching like... I mean, you know, the, give them some guidance. Yeah, product photo shoots, even in the names, it's companies who sell kind of like physical products. Yeah. Uh, so e-commerce companies, definitely one of them. We've seen more and more, that's a bit funny. We've seen more and more people like dentists, for example, using the tool. So instead of the product, they put their portrait photo. Oh, nice. And in the background, yeah. at Creative AI generates some super cool composition. So it's cool. But overall, the main intention, at least, I love the fact that people use it in many different ways that we've never imagined. But... Basically, the initially we designed this feature for uh, for e-commerce companies that sells anything physical. Yeah. So if you're selling like perfumes, I makeup. don't know, sunglasses, makeups. Yeah. That's great. What I really like is that at first, clearly, when you launch a feature like this, the first companies are those early adapters and those are usually SMBs because they want to take risks they want to because they don't have the budget of those big enterprise companies they cannot do photo shoots for each one of their products so they not only need it they, they're also okay with risk they're like hey let me go do some AI generated stuff it may not sometimes I don't know seem perfect etc and they are the ones that tried but now what we've seen is that we've even seen companies that has like thousands of employees and like definitely have more than enough budget to be able to do photo shoot for each one of their products using AI because one thing that AI does like more than just saving time more than just like doing it super fast one of the thing that it does is that it allows you to generate stuff or create photo shoots yep. that would be impossible to do in the physical world and like that could be I don't know that could be raindrops that goes the other way around you know it would be almost impossible to produce but with AI it just takes a matter of seconds so now we see that more and more enterprise companies are interested in this feature and I love the fact that enterprise companies usually the last companies when it comes to accepting innovation but they they are super fast so somehow all the enterprise companies at least the ones that are that sees the value they they are like already implementing this, already advertising outputs that are generated by Ad Creative AI. So yeah, that's, um, that's, that's definitely for e-commerce companies. But at this point, like, I would definitely not be surprised if I see a real estate company using a photo shoot AI in oh, some totally, way. Oh, totally, totally. Yeah, and if exactly. you are using the app, make sure to test it out if you 100%. haven't already. Yeah. And I think the last improvement I want to cover today is the custom branding. Ooh, we don't, branding. yeah, it's been around for a hot minute, but we have put That's in true. some some work on improving, improving it. I think custom branding is live over over one and a half years now. Yeah, clearly now it's in a great condition, and the the reason I'm saying that is we started step by step. At first, I think it was just possible to change your logo, but like as of today, the current version of uh, custom branding on Ad Creative AI, you can change the URL, you can change your logo, which means that Creative AI can really look like your company's internal tool. Then you can go ahead and change the URL. So it means you're like whatever app that's your company name that comes. So it can really look almost like nobody can tell the difference. And now we went even one uh, step ahead and we now you can actually change the colors as well. So mm. whatever your company's colors are, you can actually define custom colors. So at Creative AI, I can literally look your company colors, your company logo, your company name, URL, etc. So it can literally look like your internally built tool by your developers. So that's custom branding. And on top of it, we also heard that a lot of agencies and companies really wanted to invite their clients to add creative AI to give their clients a chance to generate visuals, generate text or generate whatever asset the client needs could be stock images as well. And some of them even wanted to monetize these clients. So what we brought now is that we are bringing this client user type. So it's almost like the normal user type we have, but yeah. the client user types can only see their own brand and can only spend the credits that are assigned to them. So they cannot go ahead and finish all your credits, etc. So this has been a feature that we've been working a lot on because you know it's connected with a lot of parts, but finally it's ready. Um, and that's the biggest update on the custom brand. So I think the custom brand at this point is a perfect feature for any company that really wants to turn out creative AI almost like their own because yeah. from outside it's not, you cannot tell the difference. And yeah, so it's quite exciting for companies like agencies, enterprises, or if it's small companies who just wants to use that creative AI with their own branding on. Yeah. yeah. 
that was actually everything we had for this video. I think I think this one got a little bit longer than the, longer than the last than the few ones. Long, right. But I think we should mention that we do offer a seven day free trial, including 10 credits. So if everything we talked about today got you really keen on testing, go ahead and head over to Ad Creative AI and sign up. And we can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.